Which movie do you want to talk about? Because I've seen a lot of movies this weekend. Yeah, you have. Um, I saw Moana. Yep. I saw John Wick Chapter 2. Yeah. Because I needed to... Well, I, go, need, I need to get my balls back after crying at Moana for yeah, so long. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, go through some of them and what were the highlights? Like, what was... They're all great. Okay. I saw Moana yeah. and I saw Fate of the Furious. So yep. that was like my rock helping. Oh, yeah. And then John Wick Chapter 2. Okay. Do you like the uh, Fast and Furious films? No. No? Oh, like, that was the other thing but I, like I watched... You- Fast and Furious 7, Furious 7, mm. whatever it was called. And this is Fate of the Furious. Yeah, okay. But Fate has an 8 in it, I think. No. No, it doesn't. Okay. They should have done that. Come on. <laughs> it's not like this film's known for being sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, yeah, I watched 7. Okay. I watched 6 and 6 I didn't think I'd seen. 6, was that six the one was where the Rock tank. was on their team or not Yeah, he was on yet. their team. So 5 was the one where he was chasing them. And then 6 they joined. 6 was the one he joined. Seven, Seven ones and one Paul Walker okay. died. Yeah. And kind of crappy CGI, you were correct. Yeah. Oh, you watched it yeah. again, yeah. Yeah. It was just like they had tracking pl- problems in After yeah. Effects. Or I don't know how much time they had so. between the death and the... No, I know. Because I know he died mid-shooting. I would have just used his brother, to be honest, and just kept it out of that and just, yeah. you know, maybe just darken it or something. I don't know. Whatever. It was the kind of thing, like, I was watching that one. I was watching Seven. I'm like, that, it was, that wasn't him. That is him. Yeah. That wasn't him. It was him. forgivable because of what happened. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. But I think they could, should have just kept it as it's obvious his brother, but yeah. it's forgivable. It was a like, nice, it was yeah. a nice tribute to him and all that they did in the end. So mm. it's one of those films of like you can't say anything bad about it because yeah, yeah. a guy died. Yeah. So you can kind of do what you yeah. want. Not that it was a bad film; it was good. Yeah. Fate of the Furious. We'll so actually, hang a on a second here. Yeah, yeah. You actually liked Fast and Furious Seven. Seven was better than six. But so, do you like the films in general? Or no. Are you? Because like I can see the appeal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I know they're stupid, and that's like what people want. But people like to see that. Yeah, yeah. But for me, because the they, first Fast and Furious is actually yeah. pretty good. I, I quite like it. I, like, I don't think I've ever seen the first one. Pretty good film. So I've seen five, six, seven, yeah. and eight. So I've seen oh, okay. half of them. Ever since five, six, seven, eight, it's basically turned into like an Expendables. Let's get this yeah, actor in. Let's this get actor eighteen in, you know? people. But in. they are enjoyable, like you said. People want to go and see that. Like I, I oh, think yeah. I went and see the last two in the cinema because I was like, "Hey, this is fun. Yeah, let's see the rock beat someone up and blah blah blah." And like it was cars. Easter weekend. It was the perfect film for Easter weekend sure. for me because I just wanted to get a pizza. Yeah, and just watch a movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There were, I didn't want to be crying. I didn't well, want to be. Sounds thinking. like you got a pizza and watched Moana and uh, and cried. I did. Moana. God damn it! It's such a good film. It was a great film. Disney. The tears went into the pizza. Yeah. So. Every five minutes, I'm like, "Don't, don't lose it. Just, just gotta <laughs> get it." Catchy songs, great, great visuals. It was a great film, yeah. So, what, in what order do you watch them all? It was actually that it was Moana, yeah, John Wick Chapter Two. I went okay. to see that. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then I watched the seven. I started six, and I was like, I've seen this one. Oh, okay. So it was fine. I didn't have to watch yeah. that. Then I watched seven, nice. and then I watched eight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. John Wick Chapter Two was brilliant. It's still in the cinema if people want to go and oh, see brilliant, it. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. So if you like the first one, yeah. it's just as good, if not better. I'll probably wait, but I did enjoy the first one. Yeah, good I wouldn't time. say it's like so. a, a necessarily a cinema film. Yeah. But if you are going to go support a movie, yeah. go support John Wick. Yeah, okay. John Wick's a better action movie than Fate of the Furious. Right, one. yeah. And it's simpler. It, look, it looks better. Yeah. yeah. And it's got some cool things. Do you want a spoiler review of it or anything like that? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't mind. Are you going to go see it? No, no I'm not uh, going to. It's not a big spoiler. It's just that. Yeah, you can learn. There's going to be a chapter three. Okay. It doesn't have an end like the first uh, one. Oh, okay. Okay. So by the end of the second one, you're like, oh. Oh, shit. They're going to okay. do another one. Cool. So that's that's exciting. That's cool. I'm not yeah. going to ruin it, but like. Because Keanu Reeves. He doesn't die in it. That's a, yeah, that's yeah. a spoiler. Yeah, I guess so. But yeah. like, you know, but it wasn't. It, they didn't wrap it up. Okay. So I think there's a chapter three that's coming. Cool. It's all because of this bloody dog. He's bloody yeah. dog yeah. yeah he's got a new dog in this one too. yeah 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 it's, this one's cool it's the same kind of thing of every cliche yeah but they do it so well you're right, like, oh, right. give a shit no it's i know awesome. i know the first one was excellent for it it's shooting i think he shot shot over 100 people in the head they so. must have done it on this one so, yeah yeah actually yeah. no now that i think about it there wasn't more people being killed necessarily but he uses more weapons oh yeah and they kind of expand on like that secret underworld sure that that's a lot more in it like ian mcshane the, the actor who plays right. the hotel manager yep. yeah, yeah, yeah that whole secret society and who knows about the assassins and okay this, okay yeah. that's in it a lot more oh sweet so i think the third one's going to go right into that of like nice who's at the who's what do they call the high council or mm. the high table the okay. high table high table yeah, yeah. moana just it's brilliant. <laughs> it's moana's good, yeah. brilliant another rock, a rock one another so, rock one yeah, yeah yeah catchy catchy as crap song and then mm. Mm. He's got one and she's got one. Okay. She did that at the Oscars too, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, actually. The wife's seen it, so yeah. uh, she, oh. she played it to me. I so. love it. 
Yeah, yeah. Everything about it, I love it. Good, good animation and everything. The animation was brilliant. Is it DreamWorks or Disney? It's Disney. Is it Disney? Yeah, it's not Disney Pixar. It's Disney Disney. Oh shit, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. The animation was great. One of my favorite segments in it is it's his song. He's singing his song. Yeah. And the background changes to like hand drawn kind of animation. Okay. But they're still 3D. Ah. And it's just one of those weird things of it makes them look more real. Okay. Because the background. Hmm. like it's nothing I can really explain except just as a film kind of guy it was just a really nice touch yeah. okay where like they did all these like designs and background stuff yeah yeah, yeah. and then they kept him it's like do you, have you ever seen Mary Poppins uh yeah oh yeah she's dancing with the penguins sure and you know like how real she looks because they look so fake right right you know or who framed Roger Rabbit oh yeah yeah, yeah. The human... I, I know I know the effect you mean yeah and that's the thing what happens in Moana I don't know if they did it on purpose mm. but just when the two of them were walking along and like the trees are fake 2D flat trees nice I was like this this looks really real like mm. it makes them look more believable yeah cool but everything with how they look they didn't look like cartoons but they didn't go for the final fantasy super real look yeah yeah, yeah. they're in this perfect middle ground nice and i was like that's that's exactly the way you'd want it to be yeah yeah like the rock the maui he doesn't look inhuman right and she doesn't look too human but she has all the facial movements and face you know right i think it was the perfect balance that they've struck between a cartoon human i think that's the way animation should be sponsored by moana sponsored by moana <laughs> and disney um and then obviously, from what i've seen of it it, it does look great yeah. exactly but you saw like a movie this weekend so. too i saw a couple of movies but one thing i was going to mention with the whole back you know like with the backdrop being 2d and then them sticking yeah, yeah. out there is a scene in beauty and the beast which you're going to go watch which yeah, i yeah. mentioned was the kitchen scene where they're all coming out on the table. Right. Like that is VR, very... VR guest. That's very... Yeah, that's VR very iconic in the, <laughs> in the original. Yeah. Because uh, I've played the original side by side, like the right, cartoon yeah. and the thing. And uh, that's my favorite scene of the whole film. Like you do it so well. And um, some of the top down, like the teapots and they're all spiraling. It looks like kind of a... What those things that you look through where you see all like the different patterns and everything like the fractal oh patterns. yeah like yeah. the, the glasses they, thing they yeah. do stuff like that and it's like super cool and then they cut back to you know the table and the yeah. meeting and stuff but yeah watch out for that scene when you see it I will it's awesome so uh, I watched Logan for a third time yeah just still loved it still, still loved love it, it. I, I was just the third time as well because I was watching it with people that hadn't seen it yeah I was just waiting for like the end bit where he's running through the forest yeah, like, yeah. it's still my favorite yeah bit. yeah I pointed out there was a guy... Just that scream, the yeah. roar. Oh, yeah, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a guy that had seen it, and it was his second time, and I pointed out the Liberty thing. He didn't spot that. He was like, Statue oh. of Liberty, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was like... And then it points on like the little motel thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I loved watching that again. Super, just... Yeah, just super cool film. Yeah, yeah. So, and then the last one was... I want to um, watch that again, actually. Was, Screw Beauty and the Beast. I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> ah, man, it's, it's worth it. It really yeah, yeah. is. It's worth every penny. Like, seeing it three times, yeah. um, like, I'm fine with giving my money for that. Yeah. So. Pick my money and go. Yeah. And then, um, so I... Yeah, you watched Fate of... What is it? Fate, Fate of, of the Furies. Fate of the Furies. And Furious I, watched, I watched Kong. Yeah. So, I thought you were going to watch it. In fact, I thought, I thought it was going to be the other way yeah, around. I thought I, would, I thought I thought I would see Fast and Furious. Yeah, you were like you like them, don't you? Um, I don't mind them. Like I'm not I'm not going to be like, "Oh, it's out, let's go." Right. But I would funny enough, I would see it over Kong, but uh, the place that we went to just happened to have Kong and not that one playing, or that one was sold out or something. Right. So, um, not bad, Kong. Yeah. But not great. Do you want to give a full so, review or are you just uh, it's just, not worth just it. like a little it's not worth a full review but um, there was a couple of things that stuck out that were kind of funny because my uncle saw it yeah and I was talking to him about it yesterday at Easter uh, Easter yeah, weekend yeah. or whatever and uh, so my uncle used to be in the military and he was saying okay. how he spotted they were all holding their guns wrong yeah they were reloading and like the way they were shooting them and stuff yeah, was yeah. like completely off so that took him out of the experience yeah but the, th the thing is, my uncle was picking out things of the film. He doesn't even know I've got a podcast either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he wasn't talking to me as in like, oh, he's got a podcast about movies, so I yeah. should mention this. He he was like, did you notice that when they took off from the carrier, they had four helicopters, but then when they well, went spoilers in... Spoilers for Kong or whatever. You know, yeah. yeah, but then they had 10 when they were going in, like into battle. Yeah. And it was like, it was very obvious they had four on the ship, but yeah. then suddenly they had 10, 10 yeah. helicopters. So he was coming out of these things. So I was yeah. like... I was like, do you want to join the podcast or something? We need like, somebody who pays attention because yeah. I don't. But it was interesting to hear the military thing. And then just the story in general, like, it was, like, I liked the whole, uh, it was all set back in, like, Vietnam time yeah, yeah. and stuff. Um, How do you feel about 
the not the original Kong, not not twenties, but like the Peter Jackson Kong. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Like I, I, yeah, I actually, I, I don't mind him. Yeah, uh, that one because this one, someone made a comment that he was walking like Godzilla. This Kong was walking like Godzilla kind yeah. of thing. And, um, Do you want to go into that? And the funny spoiler enough, of that? Yeah, funny yeah, enough. Yeah. Well, we mentioned it on one of our other podcasts. We never mentioned it. We said so. there was a thing at well, the end. At the end. And I, I was kind of on the fence whether I'm going to see it or not, but well, I knew what the spoiler this is, was. This is one thing about the film. So there's an island, and there's these cr- creatures on it. A so Skull Kong, Island, believe. Skull Island. So King Kong lives on his island. Yes. But also, there's loads of other big ass creatures and crazy creatures right. on this island. Now, you might ask yourself, because I did before I see They all the, eat their sort of weedabinks in the morning. They do indeed, yeah. yeah. They were, uh, how does this island exist? Like, right. it's like Jurassic Park or something? Yeah. So, apparently, it's being covered by some kind of, like, vortex storm. Like, some right. storm that they can never... Uh, there's always, like, a clouds and a storm, like, over this one area right. of the uh, of the world. And they had, like, Google Maps satellite imagery. Because right. it's back, back in the... It's the in 70s, the isn't it? It's yeah, it's like, more, yeah. yeah. So, they had a... Is it a, Cambodia? Or? I missed the beginning, like, <laughs> when, they, when they said where it was or whatever, but basically... A hot country somewhere hot in Southeast Asia. tropical country yeah. where it could be palm trees and a, yeah. a gorilla. But basically, they got a satellite top-down view right. of this island. So, there was usually clouds all around it, and then they suddenly, satellite revealed an right. island. They were like... Satellite in the 70s? It's a bloody satellite. Yeah, I don't know. It must I guess they must have one, yeah, yeah. It's a movie as well. Yeah. <laughs> but that's also true, That's, also that's true. a very good point. But so, they knew... They've forgotten that. They knew there was an island. So they were like, there's a bloody island through here, you know? So they were like, we've got to... And there's, there's a bloody island. There's a gap there. we can get through, you know? Yeah. Like, the storm's not that strong at this time. Suddenly the storm was strong. And that's when the four helicopters took off. <laughs> and then the ten got through. That's a strong <laughs> That's so, a strong storm. But yeah. It was I, so strong it turned four helicopters into ten. I was wondering why... Uh, this island suddenly existed, so it's because the of that. Skull it's island. Because the skull island. Sorry. Is it You're shaped like a skull? Rather. Ex- uh, no, no, it's not. That's fucking bullshit. So, then. It's, it's take not- it off the shelf. But at the end of the film, yeah, with the whole Godzilla teaser, mm-hmm. uh, what the way they did it was they were saying there's more than one island, guys. Oh, so there's okay. another island with another vortex, you know, like one shape that like we've never seen. So possibly, Thank or maybe like a, a god thing right yeah, yeah. anyway so and then they cut <laughs> to, God they cut to uh, footage and it's godzilla but walking in like a similar kong kind of way so. oh, okay oh so but they show him fully. they show i yeah, thought they, they show, just teased it no they show they show like uh blatant godzilla and is it the godzilla from the godzilla movie we've seen it's it's the uh Gareth Edwards it one. looked more like the japanese one actually the but, one where he was chasing quicksilver around yeah yeah, yeah yeah so it looked more like that but it was still very black and white and they could change it oh it's black and white they could do whatever that's not want. bad yeah it was on black and white so so it was like the classic footage of yeah the, exactly we found the island so, but um yeah it was just it was very predictable the kong one yeah just with things that were happening but it, it didn't have the cliche like this is the girl and a moment okay, okay, like that, yeah. which i know people do that's like that's not that, a cliche but... alex that's an amazing piece of art is yeah <laughs> it's become uh, a cliche that, from yeah. the original was the first time but since then it's a cliche yeah yeah, yeah. but um yeah it was it was all right and then tom yeah. hilson he was he was pretty decent in it mr um, future james bond maybe may, possibly yeah 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 and then uh, Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson was pretty good in actually. Yeah. yeah, he was a crazy uh, military guy. Yeah, yeah. He was obsessed just with... Uh, at the beginning of the film, like, all the military guys yeah. got to go home. They were like, I can go home. Mission's over, you know. And then he was just kind of sitting at his desk and he was like, I'm kind of bored. Like, I don't want to go home. I've got nowhere to go, you know. Yeah. And then the phone call came and goes like, we've got this secret mission. Right. And then he was like, do you want to take it? And goes, but, you know, maybe you want to go home first. Yeah. He's like... I don't know, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. And then he's just like, at the end of the phone call, he's like, and Captain, thank you. Because you know, he's just like, <laughs> yeah. I want to Give fucking, me something to do. Yeah, yeah. So he's like crazy. And yeah. there's one part in the film where, uh, this is actually something that stuck out to me that you mentioned about Thor, is that they actually introduced King Kong really early on. Yeah. Like it wasn't a build up of, oh, I can see a hand or I can see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, he came out straight away. Right. So um, they introduced him really quickly. And then there was a part in it where there was explosions and everything and Kong was getting up and he was kind of looking in slow motion. Yeah. And then Samuel Jackson was there as well because Kong had taken down those 10 helicopters. <laughs> uh, and then Jackson's just like kind of standing there staring at him. Yeah. And like both of them are looking at him eye to eye and he's just like, I'm coming for you. you yeah, yeah. And then Kong's just like, who is this guy like still standing here? I should eat but, him. Yeah. So there was a couple of moments, but overall just okay in my, in, yeah. my, in my books. I'm not 
particularly looking forward to the Godzilla. Like, it didn't even mention Godzilla versus King Kong. It but just was saying, yeah. but yeah. But uh, yeah, so we'll see. But it was it was a it was a movie for the background. Like we were chatting while it was on, but so it's still, not a cinema you know, one. It's a TV. I one. don't think so, unfortunately. Right. And I do like the the originals and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. So. Okay. But yeah, if my uncle's picking up on some military things, yeah, he's getting the there. helicopters, then it's like got to be a bit more. The film obvious. is that annoying so. or not annoying, like that boring that you're picking up on that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're kinda like... I had a good soundtrack, and also I can't remember his name, but the guy from Step Brothers, he's in it. Oh, um, John C. Riley. He's really good in it. Yeah, he's yeah. really good. I really like him in it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So what was your your what was the worst part and what was the best part then? Uh, the best part was Jackson and the Kong just staring oh, yeah, at each cool, other yeah. and the fact that they introduced him so quickly I like yeah. that because I just was not in the mood for you didn't want an hour of... there's a big footprint what's yeah. this coming from I don't oh, know there's this there's that this you know? movie called Actually, Kong the way, they Skull Island. the way they introduced them is the helicopters are coming in yeah and there's like 10 of them and, uh, one, <laughs> and uh, actually, was it 10 or 4 <laughs> they're, they're flying in and then a bloody palm tree it's just flying towards them. This, I'm not joking. This is this maybe is my favorite. Uh, this is my favorite bit. It's flying towards them and just smashes through one of the helicopters, and yeah. kills everyone. And and then they're like, "The fucking palm tree just killed us." Did he make um, a joke? And then uh, should eat your greens, bitch. That'd be great. Kong just comes out. He's like, it's like a seventies James Bond. But that's where it cuts cuts uh, cuts to basically Kong. He's there. He's standing up and he's smashing things. There's no there's no bollocks. Yeah, yeah. You know? So that's definitely a a, a big one. And then the worst part, I guess just like... It's just generally predictable. Just predictable. Yeah. It's just like, oh, this happened, this happened. Oh, this is going to happen. And then like, there's always like a bad guy ending. You know, it's like, oh, he's fighting this big thing or he's yeah, fighting yeah. this person. Oh, that happened. Okay. Yeah. Kind of knew that. Yeah. And then, yeah. So it's just, I would have liked it to have been, because I like the way they introduce him so quickly. Yeah. And I like the 70s Vietnam feel. I just wish they maybe like ended it a bit differently. Yeah, you could argue that Godzilla is a nice ending, but it's yeah. still it's an end credit ending. I want to see the film end, you know, differently. Yeah, like yeah. I don't know, in some way. So now I'm wondering what they're going to do with Godzilla King Kong fight. Are they going to go into the 80s? Or are they going to move it right up to today? Because the Godzilla yeah, movie's today, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, yeah I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure how. To... I feel like King Kong, especially in this film, came off to be the good guy because he's yeah, like yeah. the protector of the thing. Yeah. So I feel like he is going to be protecting the humans against Godzilla. Yeah. I feel like Godzilla might. Like, I'm just making this up here, but he might start walking towards cities, like through the ocean. Yeah. And then he might go to like Tokyo. But he's a protector in the Godzilla movie. I guess he is. Yeah. So. Well, that one was shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just for a second there, you look a little bit like Logan. You had like this Logan just, thing. Shit, I just got so angry. Your, your hair is like... Yeah, yeah. it's getting all quiffy yeah, over yeah. there. I should do that. I should get up like this. Yeah. Yeah, because Godzilla, I guess, is, is it going to be like a Batman Superman? They're both good guys. Oh, God, yeah. But they fight for a bit yeah. and they're friends. But then there's going to be a bigger guy introduced. Yeah. Who's the bigger guy? Who's the bigger guy? I don't it's gonna know. Be, it's going to be like one of the fuckers from Pacific Rim <laughs> yeah. or something like that. So. That would be even more interesting. Those guys fighting and suddenly... Oh, the kaijus. The yeah. kaijus. And then suddenly Pacific Rim. Yeah. Nah. Just do it. Just go nuts. Go Pacific. all out. Just don't, yeah, everything. Don't, don't spoil my rim. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Hopefully you edit that one out. No, that's my new sign off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> don't spoil my rim. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry to everyone. So we can go two ways. I saw Fate of the Furious, yeah. so I can do the same as yep. you. You didn't see it. No. Nope. So I can review. Spoiler I review. I want to watch it, but um, yeah, you might as well do the spoiler thing because. And then uh, we'll say I, Star Wars for the end. Yeah, we'll start. Because everyone's going to want to talk about Star Wars. I do Wars. have a trivia question that came up last night in my yeah, Easter cool. thing. Yeah. <clears throat> and it. Whoa. And then. Um, what was it's all the other that one? rim problems you've been having. <laughs> it's all the rim problems. And then what was the other one? There was something. Oh, yeah, there was a spoiler alert that goes with your Fast and Furious. I'm curious to see if it links. I saw a thumbnail on YouTube. Right. And I was like, oh, why did they choose that as a thumbnail? Oh, you yeah, mentioned gives... this, yeah. So when you tell me the review or yeah, whatever, yeah. I'll, I'll mention it. Well, I'm the, the same as you. Like, so. it, I don't think it deserves a full review. Yeah, just like a nice little cap, yeah. you know. But the first thing is that yeah. I was at. Uh, an Easter trivia at my parents yesterday. Right. You know, the family were there and my mum decided to do trivia. When you're making your father-in-law sick. Like, yeah. It was just <laughs> like, he's in the bathroom being sick. But um, she did trivia and she, she wanted to do it so that everyone had uh, an answer. Like everyone would know some of the questions. Like some of the Speciality questions. Speciality subjects. Yeah, yeah. Basically, one of them might like be like, mind. who served in this war, whatever. And my uncle would know that because of yeah. the military. But there was one that was aimed at my brother and me. Yeah. We didn't know it though. Right. And I want to know if you know it. 
because my mum just kind of went a bit like they like movies right but I, I think this is such a generic film I don't know the name I'm just curious if you know yeah, yeah. so the, the, quest, the question was what is the name of the new Pirates in the Caribbean film I don't know what it's okay, called. Okay, so for all our so, listeners out there, what is the name of the new Pirates of the Caribbean film? Yeah, and do or you... Or Caribbean, as some people Caribbean, might say it yeah. correctly. Um, I like the films, but oh, I do feel oh, like wait, they've wait, got I a know this. generic. So. The one that's coming out, you know, Yeah, because whenever. I just watched the trailer, but oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't remember the... Now, Dead Man's Chest, isn't it? No, no, it's not Dead Man's Chest. No. Because that was the f- fourth one? I think so. Is it... Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. That is it. That's oh, nice. yes. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Which you're I, right. Like, you shouldn't have that on the top of your head. But yeah. It's not. So it made me question, as in, like, I know there's been a good amount of time between the films, and I know it feels like a generic film to me anyway. Like, I like pirate films, but it doesn't. It doesn't... I liked the first one. Yeah. I was blown away by the first one. Oh, yeah. The first one, for sure. But and after just, that just nothing I think they're just reusing like a similar f- formula here and there but yeah I just found it interesting because my mom's like oh I thought you would know that you know whereas if she mentioned like Deadpool or Logan yeah, yeah. she would never go that detailed like that for her is like a very standard film like yeah, everyone yeah. probably knows this you know all the movie buffs or whatever and my brother was like looking at me going like oh well Alex knows this. I'm this is like, a bloody job. Don't know this one. I was just, I just noted it down. I was curious. Pirates of the Caribbean. It, so. Johnny Depp's back. Yeah, that's, that's pretty it. much what I was saying. Young Johnny Depp. I know. I knew all <laughs> the things in the trailer, but yeah, I didn't know. Um, and funny enough, Orlando Bloom's in it, but not very much, though, is he? I think it's a cameo. Yeah, there. something like that. So it was like a small part. Two more things before Star Wars. Hitman. That Hitman one with Ryan Reynolds. Oh, the the body, the Hitman, the, the bodyguards hit. Yeah, the Hitman's yeah. bodyguard. How funny does that look? Like, that's a great trailer it really does look great like like I didn't understand what you were on about and then when you hear yeah. the Whitney Houston start yes, up I exactly. like, oh my god and they yeah. kept it for the whole thing that basically made the trailer yeah it was like, and then unfortunately I hope it's not one of those trailers where all the funny bits yeah, are yeah that's what I was kind of worried about but those two as a character I feel like most scenes are going to be funny anyway yeah like, I liked it yeah how Reynolds is playing off all the stuff that Samuel L. Jackson gets away with in every yeah. other movie yeah He's like, he's ruined the word motherfucker for That's everybody. So good. Yeah, yeah. And, and then the seatbelt like, thing at the end. Yeah, yeah. He's like, what, 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 the, what about the seatbelt? Yeah. You know? <laughs> and now my favorite bit, in the, it was when he just, can you just say please? Please, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, yeah. And then good. just when it cuts to it, he's like, I was up here. I was up yeah, here. Yeah, I know? was here. And then just, yeah, like there's so many, it kind of has like a tint of Deadpool, obviously, because he plays yeah, Deadpool yeah. and we like that humor. So, but, uh, I think that's going to be great. Again, fingers crossed it's not the trailer it has got everything. Yeah. I think it kind of is one of those films where the trailer has a lot of the funny bits. Yeah. But I still think it's going to be hilarious. We'll wait and see. If trailer 2 has a bunch more new scenes, yeah. then I'll probably go see it in the, in the theater. Because I don't... This is one thing I do. is I don't usually see comedy at the theater. Uh, yeah. At the cinema. Uh, I usually just wait for DVD or whatever. I'm so. trying to think of what trailers came out before john wick how come because i can't remember what they were <laughs> before john wick yeah because john oh, wick you mean was before releasing... you saw it yeah yeah, yeah 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 the fate of the furious i didn't see any trailers i how went come? in ju- i just went in just as oh a... yeah because i was like no no because this is going to show mm. everything that's coming up now like it's alien true, yeah. guardians and all yeah, that everything yeah. i've avoided oh yeah that's interesting what do you just wait outside the door until i went there took a piss yeah and, and you just... knew and because you... they closed the door yeah yeah so i was like yeah, that's no. a good way of doing it to be honest to say. i was like yeah i'm just sick of uh, last Can't one do. was uh, I watched the first episode of Legion. So oh, I watched yeah, it last night. Man, yeah. Really liking it. <laughs> really liking it. Downloaded all of them. There's eight of them. I mean, it? you're going to so. watch them on FX. You're going you're gonna to pay They're for them. They're on iTunes. They're on iTunes. So. I'll see. Okay. I hope so. well, <laughs> cut that out then. Nobody check <laughs> so. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We've already encouraged people to... What did we encourage them to me, steal earlier? Yeah, yeah. Actually, that CMU's at... Uh, no, not port- CMU. There was something earlier on you were saying people should do. And it, I don't know. It was... <laughs> In some way, we've yeah, encouraged yeah. people to commit a crime yeah. earlier. Whoever's listening to this is committing crimes anyway. Yeah, just listening like, to us, who are you know insane criminals, is a crime. Makes you a criminal. Or yes. Echo listeners, uh, I enjoyed it. Um, the first kind of Echoers. fifteen to twenty minutes, I was like, "This is definitely different." Like I know what yeah, Paul's yeah. saying, and then yeah, it's not like an episode of Daredevil. Also, I think I was super tired yesterday, but I think is it an hour an episode or is it? If no, I'm... the first episode is two episodes. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So it's sense. an hour twenty. Because I was really thrown off by. I was like, am I not enjoying this because it's so long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then at the same time, I was like, oh, this is cool. The rest of them are forty going. minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, super cool. Like I said, the girl from uh, 
Parks and Rec was in it. Aubrey Good to see Plaza. She's, yeah. she's odd in Parks and Rec, so yeah. she fits in, you know? Yeah. Uh, that guy does an awesome American accent because he's a posh... Dan Stevens, isn't He's it? a posh bastard. Yeah. So, you from, saw him in Beauty and the Beast. Also from uh, Downton Abbey. And Downton Abbey, so, yeah. And he's lost a lot of weight in this role yeah. as well. Um, he's gotten Hollywood, Hollywood sexy. I, I think the only thing I would say with it is you have to stick with this episode because I got about 45 minutes through and yeah. I was like, this is good but I'm not sure if it's holding me. And then right. the last 45 minutes really got me. And yeah. I was like, okay, this is great. Yeah. And I think now that you explained, uh, if I didn't know, because you know he's seeing that fat fucking thing. Yes. Thing. I know what that is now. Yeah. However, I'm enjoying, even though my wife listens to this podcast, yeah, yeah. she doesn't know who the hell that thing is. <laughs> so, um, But uh, you, yeah. So because I, I told know. you, you've yeah, gone yeah. into so it. I'm you're like, all oh, right. Yeah. But, uh, well, that's uh, interesting. Keep us updated on how she gets. To, yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm finding interesting. Because she but, doesn't like horror anyway. No, and uh, she, she was enjoying it. And in the end, with the Legion and obviously with the X and the O and stuff, and yeah, yeah, just have, having him in a wheelchair at the beginning of the yeah. like, I'm seeing a couple of cues here and there. Yeah, but uh, and then yeah, so the episode ended with him handshaking the woman because they're like running out. Yes. Uh, yeah. So great. The only thing that was throwing me off a little bit, but it's just me being nitpicky is the guy that was using the force to kind of, uh, using the force, using the force. You know, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? By, yeah. The telekinetic um, when one. they fly away, uh, it was too quick. Like I felt like it looked unrealistic. Oh uh, yeah. He I was understand just Fox. Yeah, yeah. The budget's not quite there. Yeah. But, um, as soon as I heard the word mutant, it really brought me in as well mm-hmm. because I think a lot of people watching it might be like, oh, I'm going to, you know, stream this new uh, Fox TV show. I've heard good things about it. it And then as soon as you hear Mutant, you're like, oh, is this X-Men? Yeah. Or whatever. So that's even more. And if you kind of notice the logo, you might be like, hey, yeah. uh, And that was only at the end as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, So yeah, super cool. Cool. And also like really small graphic thing, but the logo at the end had like this really cool metal sheen go across it right and it reminded me of x-men as well yeah but, uh yeah as soon as i saw those little cues at the end as well and they started mentioning mutant yeah. and the thing i was like cool on board yeah. but i loved that they had the balls kind of the balls but it was it was talking to the hardcore fans like yourself yeah but i like that they had the balls because the first 45 minutes is messed up yeah and it isn't an x-men film no until they start talking about powers and this guy's powerful. Does he know that he's... You yeah, know, like if, you did, if I didn't tell you what it was and you watched that first 45, you might, you might have make, tuned out. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. But I like that they had the balls to do that. And now it's mentioned those key points. Mutants and, and powers. Kind of, and, yeah. and I love that someone that... They probably would just Wikipedia it or Google it after and go yeah. like, is this... What's this? You know, Is this professor or what? Whoever yeah. is tuning in not knowing that, they're going to be on a really good ride. Yeah. So, well, I'm happy you yeah. got a second season. Yeah. yeah so yeah. you've only got... There's only seven more. Only seven more, yeah. yeah. So and they're shorter. Forty. There'll be forty. Yeah. Forty two. Right? I was just super tired yesterday, so I was like, I'll put this on, and I was just like, I too many was, chocolate. I was eggs. putting it on as a forty-five minute. Yeah. And then I was like watching it, and then must forty-five must have been over, and I was like, Am I not your brain? Yeah, your not, brain is like, Am I not enjoying this? <laughs> yeah. Like, why is this so long? But then, why is this dragging? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, but, you're because you're a program for a forty-five yeah, minute exactly. timeout. Yeah, yeah. You're like, is this, this is the most boring show or something? Yeah, like, Why is it really dragging? Like, where? Same thing Paul, happened to me. Paul said he I, I, got out of here. I was still watching. I'm like, what's going on? I think it was when like they were in bed together or something. I'm right. like, what's going on here? Yeah. And I, I checked the time. I was like, hour? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's an hour and 20. I was so tired. I couldn't move the mouse that was in front of me. <laughs> I know, oh, you bastard. You should use your brain powers. Oh, yes. Mm. Um, Fate of the Furious. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Uh, for was everybody, the, was the cinema packed? The cinema, yeah, because I went on Saturday. I want to say Saturday. Yeah, it couldn't okay. be Friday. Everything was closed on Friday. Right. For everybody who doesn't know, it's now the biggest opening weekend in oh, history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, 532. I think I have it here somewhere. 532 million. Oh, wow. The last one was Star Wars Force Awakens, 529. All oh, right. It doesn't have the biggest domestic opening. But it opened worldwide on the same day. So they've already made their money back. Wow. So which means they're guaranteed to make 9, 10, 12, 15, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about this movie and I realized this movie is the equivalent. Like everybody's sitting there going, it's so bad. Movies are terrible. Yeah. And then I don't like the other defense of people saying, it's a popcorn movie. You just get, I don't like that defense. Yeah. You, You shouldn't make a movie to be stupid. Yeah. But for me, what I realized is this movie is the same movies we were watching in the 80s. Right. This is Commando. Yeah. This is, you know, Rambo 2. Sure. It's just a big, stupid, impossible situation. Yeah. You know, it's not our world. Yeah. 
physics don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> people can, like, seriously, people can do what they want. Like, in seven, the he's lifting up went, a car. Yeah, and the car and goes through between like, skyscrapers. Yeah, it goes between yeah, skyscrapers. Yeah. The more damage, the better. He can jump out of a, a moving car and catch a woman and land on another but car. But anyone that's going to see realistic, like, they're not going yeah. to see those films. You know? But this is why I didn't like this movie. Okay. I, I, I'd say it's like a, a five or six out of ten. Sure. The other, one, the other ones, the... I'd be like, it's like a high six, seven. You can forgive a car going through a skyscraper yeah. and all that. Like. It's, it's entertaining, it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah. My favorite part of, I, I watched like three of them. Yeah. My favorite part is Tyrese Gibson. Yeah. Who plays he's Roman. Fun, he's funny, yeah. He's just like, I know that's his job. But he does it well. Is it funny? He turns in, up, um, he says something funny. The Lamborghini in the ice? Is that as funny as it is in the trailer? You yeah, know, yeah. Where he's just like, why are they always after me? Or he's whatever. got some real like, funny moments. Because you've got some fucking yeah. orange Lamborghini. he got an orange whatever. Lamborghini, yeah. Roman. Yeah. Uh, he's great in it. I think he's great in all of them. So I love it. Sure. The thing about the movie that bugs me, and this is where I'm going to spoil it for everybody straight out. Sure. The movie hinges around, all the all the advertising for this movie was about Dom's gone against his family. Yeah. They tell you exactly why. Yeah. Straight off in the first uh, 10 uh, minutes. Okay, okay. Can, I, this is what I'm dying to know. It's just right. like, so two things I just want to, I yeah, think yeah, it's two yeah. things. So just before you say it. Yeah, yeah. Because you're going to say it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's either one. They've got a clutch on his family. It's basically that we're going to kill Brian. We're going to kill his family. We're going to kill right, the kid. Right. Yeah. We've got a sniper on the kid. He's shown a picture of the kid or yeah. shown a picture of the guys. We can blow them up any time, yeah. whatever. Or I hope it's not. But is it some stupid fucking technology thing where she's like chipped him? Or because I know that she's a technology terrorist. I know they say That's that right. The, yes. They say that in the trailer. So is it something where she is it technology is in like she has the ability to snipe her or whatever yeah yeah or is it technology is in she's actually brainwashed him is it either of those it's not the second one okay but it is the first one the family thing family. which is just obvious yeah okay. what happens is they don't tell you exactly what happens right okay. but this is what i'm happier film... about that than the technology oh yeah shit. if it's chip in the head yeah, thing yeah. but even that i would have liked the chip in the head sure but my problem with the whole movie is there's the opening sequence with Dom and what's her name having a great time in Cuba and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So there's just a race because it's fast and furious. Pretty girls dancing, everything you expect out of it. Then Charlize Theron, for some reason I do not understand, sets up this weird situation where she pretends her car's broken down. Right. Just so she can talk to Dom. And then she's like, I've been following you. And he's like, oh my God. And like all this information's coming out that she knows about him. And I was like, why would you have to pretend the car broke down right because all she does is show him a phone yeah you don't we don't see what's on the phone yeah but he gets that look on his face of like oh shit just got real yeah and from then on it's everything you see in the trailer he, he knocks the rock off the road yeah rock goes to prison yeah he steals an emp machine that's yeah. what he's doing it for yeah and i'm just like we know that he's being blackmailed yeah like what is the what for me as a guy just watching it as a story i'm like what am I supposed to feel? Mm. Because clearly now I know what's making him do this. Yeah. There's no tension. Yeah. All I'm waiting for now is to see what was on that screen. Yeah. And then when is he going to fix it? Yeah. So the movie just immediately becomes boring. Yeah. The fact that the other guys don't know about it. It doesn't... It's supposed to be family. Yeah. It, yeah. Like all that, all those scenes from the, <clears throat> the, the, the trailer that make it look great. Yeah. Of like... Dom, what are you doing? And he kisses her mm. and like it's all this stuff. And it's like, that doesn't work anymore. No, it doesn't. All of that's out the window. Yeah, yeah. And what happens is, do you know the blonde girl, Elena, who's his girlfriend at one point? Yes, yeah. She's pregnant. Right. Or she got pregnant. She never told him. Yeah. Because this is the way this world works. Yeah. She has a baby. Yeah. She has a son. Yeah. Her and the son are on the airplane that Cypher, the girl, has uh, the tech thing. Right. So they're behind like a locked thing. Yeah. And she says, like, if you don't check in or whatever, I'll kill his family. Yeah. So that's the film. He has to go and help her steal this nuclear code and then the submarine because she wants to hold the world hostage. Yeah. yeah. And then the other guys have to stop him. Stop him. Yeah. Which for me, it's like every action scene from then on. Yeah. Is completely boring. Mm. Because, like, for example, they show a lot of Dom doing stuff. Yeah. Like, he'll break into a place and he'll do, like, a skid. Yeah. And, like, things will go off. Yeah. And I'm like... Number one, he's working for the bad guy. Yeah. I know he's being blackmailed, so I don't care. Yeah. And then the second point is, he's working for the bad guy. Obviously, he's going to succeed. Mm. Because if he doesn't do that job, yeah. then dead. the movie's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So every time he has to do something, I'm like, this is boring as fuck. Mm. And then when everybody else is chasing him, what happened to Dom? I'm like, because the audience knows it. It's it's the it's, way. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way of putting it is like, imagine a horror movie like Scream. And in the first 10 minutes, they tell you who the killer is. Mm. Then for the rest of the movie, you're just waiting for everyone else to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Now, that being said, the action scenes are great. Mm. The sub, the submarine thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's off the walls, stupid. Yeah, like but super just, cool. It's cool. It suits a film. I Everything's think. just bollocks in terms of like, none of it makes any sense. Yeah, like the action. It's not supposed to. There's, but yeah, there's automated they, cars. If, if the foundations of this freaking plot of him that's what being, annoys me that's the annoying bit that's yeah, why yeah. seven is enjoyable because it's just a straight ahead let's stop this guy and at what point in the movie do they find out they're just oh gonna... like like 20 minutes in he finds out about the kid yeah and then around but then when did the when did the family find out because at the end of the film we all know that the family come together they find out at the very end like oh at the very very end yeah so like the best scene in the movie to spoil it is with Jason Statham oh yeah so there's this balls around thing of how dom calls in statham's mother to get her help yeah and then statham fakes his own death right and then statham breaks onto the airplane yeah with his brother you know the guy the bad guy from the other one yeah so the two of them break onto the plane to get dom's kid back oh yeah and statham with the kid is a really funny scene because yeah. he has like headphones on the baby yeah. And he's trying to keep the baby happy while he's killing all oh, these guys. Yeah. So, like, that's funny. The submarine thing is funny. Yeah. The, the, when you look at the stunts, you're like, this is amazing sure. what they're doing. But it's just the foundation of, but like... But the whole movie's got, stupid as yeah, fuck. Yeah. And now, yeah, letting everyone know, this is where your uh, family is. Would, yeah. You know, and he's just doing it all for this. Like, yeah. at the very least, what they could have done to try and fix it is give a fake reason. Yeah. So make it out like the family think he's doing it for a different reason. Yeah. Because it's a double-edged sword for them in a way because it's it's a boring plot or a reveal if they were to wait the whole film yeah. and then at the end, it would just be like, exactly. oh, it's just yeah. because you've got the kid and door. Like, we all yeah. thought that. Whereas if it had, like, a twist to it, it would have been yeah. cool, but they didn't. It was just easy writing. And as a, as a bad guy plot, it's kind of stupid. Yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, why would you get this guy if... Like, it's more hassle than it's worth is what I see it as. Right. It, yeah. I think it's... I think this film has actually taken over from The Expendables, which is oh, now Oh, definitely, gone. yeah. I think that's now gone. And I wouldn't be surprised to see yeah. in Fast and Furious 9 some of those actors, actually, Terry, Crews, and everyone coming over. I wouldn't even be surprised. No. Because I don't think that film's having any more. Or Expendables 4 now. 4, sorry. Yeah, yeah not 3. Um, so I almost felt like it has, just because yeah. of the way... Get a big action guy in there. Action. Um, yeah. But also, yeah, all the actors, and then it's a very similar film. Yeah. It, it's actually told a lot better than... Expendables, Expendables. So my don't watch in the cinema. It's no. not worth it. Yeah, the action's yeah. great, but the story just, it's boring. Right. Like, as much as you can watch a popcorn movie like they say fight, like Fast and Furious is, sure. at least it's not over in the first 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, the moment you know she's got him blackmailed, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're just like, so what? That's annoying. I'm, I'm glad because I know I mentioned it a few podcasts ago. I hope it's not the chip thing. Cause yeah, I, the, the only, chip in the, the brain. The only yeah. reason why my mind went there is because the trailer said she's a technology terrorist. And I yeah, thought it was because, you. you know, it's like, like ching, on the back of the neck. Yeah. And, and, and the reason why is because it's like, Dom, your family. And then he like turns his back on all of them. Yeah. Like you'd think if his family was under threat or risk, yeah. he'd still have like some little blink handshake thing yeah. that tells them exactly that tells them you know but you, you like there's would... a few moments in the movie where you're definitely thinking like you could tell people right yeah. now yeah yeah, yeah like exactly. you could just that's write it on a, write, that's on why it's a flawed. write it on a fucking piece of paper she's yeah. got my kid yeah drop so, it on the ground I, I will eventually watch it but blink how does, how does Statham now. and his brother get on that plane how do they know that they're on there um, does it eventually leak through like, do you want to know like the whole yeah. well I'm just wondering how they got on the plane that's all Like Dom in, gives him the info so he eventually does anyway yeah that's the point so, that's yeah. what I'm saying like he does it through them yeah yeah because okay he has so this... it's subliminal like every time he sees them something no 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 it's no? not even that stupid no, okay. no like that's the thing once you step back you're just like there's a million ways you can yeah. tell somebody you know I am annoyed you could have I... picked up a phone for one thing I'm annoyed thing. but I'm not because I'm Unfortunately, that's what people are going to see that film. They're yeah. going to go see it for a certain level. Yeah. And they're not actually going to go see that film for... You can, you can almost say this about Superman vs. Batman. For the writing. You right, know, they, yeah. they just want to see The Rock. 
They want to see Statham. Yeah. They want to see them do all their shit. Yeah. But um, and but that's why I would have liked the movie. That's why it's sold. So if much I as well. didn't know so, what was happening, sure. If I had the question in the back of my mind of like, why is he doing this? Yeah, yeah. It would have had so much more. It would have been more fun. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Like if you're making a fun movie. Don't kill the fun in the first five minutes. Yeah, that's fair. So, yeah, that was the biggest movie of all time. All right. I don't like it that much. Yeah. Watch watch Seven instead. Seven's good. Yeah. No, I actually kind of uh, kind of in the mood for watching them now. Yeah. So. Seven's good. Six has got the tank. Yeah. Five is the one in Brazil. Five's the one in Brazil where they... Four I've never they're seen. against each other. Three... You should watch the original, man. The original's awesome. All right, I'll watch the original. Then. It's great. It's, it's a really good film. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it made me get underlighting in my car. But not, not in my car, like in the in the passenger side. And in stuff. your scale electrics. You know, in my scale electrics. Yeah. Cool. So that's it. Kong was meh. And yeah. Fate of the Furious was meh. Meh. Take yeah. it off the shelf. Yeah. Take it off the shelf. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fast and Furious is doing well. Take it off the shelf.